floss you and floss you friends welcome my name is Narissa and this is my channel Narissa's stitching lifestyle um, I make cross stitching mostly and I come from New Zealand right down the bottom of the earth um, today is floss you video number 10 um, and we have a wee bit to talk about um, a wee bit to catch up on lots of stitching to show it's been a very busy three weeks three and a bit weeks um that i've had sorry i've got a piece of hair it's just really annoying me um so let's get straight into it so behind me as you can see is we're back to the normal filming spot of um on one of my sample walls i have three lined up but one that is getting full at the moment so for those of you that panic that i do not have enough space I have plenty of space still left. I may live in a small house, but I still have plenty of wall space left for all these big samplers that I'm stitching. Um, so speaking of big samplers that have been stitched, I was at Art and Frame last week, um, seeing Karen and Tanya um, in the team there, and picked up a couple of my f newly framed pieces. So I have those to show you. So let's start with them. Sorry, just had to lean over a little wee bit. So the first one that has come back, which actually came back the week before, but just didn't have time to show it, um, is Memories of the Past. Now this is, just trying to get it so we don't get the glare. This is from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. She's stitched on 46 count Russian caramel from number 12 Stitch Co on Etsy. Love Nicola's fabrics. They're absolutely gorgeous. We'll be placing another order soon, Nicola. Um, I stitched this on the number 12 Russian Caramel uh, using 103 spools, the silky spools. Um, loved it. Absolutely love stitching on it. Um, sorry, it will have a wee bit of a glare, but I love, I love the little animals in the bottom little reindeers this huge big flower in the middle but up here it's kind of hard to see there's an owl on each side and here they're different two different types of owls which is gorgeous love the saying and i'll read it out to you again because i just think it's really a nice saying when time who steals our years away shall steal our pleasures too the memory of the past will stay and half our joys renew. Then think of no more of future gloom. These joys will always last for hope will brighten days to come and memory guide our past. I think that's awesome. I love it. Can't believe it was stitched all those years ago. Still no idea who the stitch was. Neither did um, Nicola from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. But my gosh. Love it. So that actually hangs up here behind my head on this hook. Okay, so the other one is the one that fits into this big hole up here. And it's the companion piece to what we got. His eyes on the sparrow. This one up here. Um from Heartstring Samplery. And it was consider the lily. She's a big girl. Um, I don't know if I can get back far enough to get her all in. There she is there, beautifully framed. He chose the same frame that I had on the last one. Now she is stitched on 40 count, one over one, uh, one over two, sorry, using DMC threads. Love using my DMC threads. When you see them up on the wall, you can't tell that they're not a silk. And for the colour variations in a lot of the, um, classic colour works and wigs and gentle arts for the small motifs it really wasn't worth the cost um so yeah i went with just the dmc but i love it just bring it a little bit closer so you can see some of the detail sorry for any glare um it might be the middle of winter here but it is definitely a lovely sunny day so yes love this one too now that goes up on the wall behind me.
Okay, so as you can see, I've paused. Let's hope we can join these together and put them up on the wall. Downloaded an editing program, so let's hope it works. If not, I'll be refilming this twice and you won't know. Okay, so they were my two big finishes um, that came back from the framers. Once I crook it up there, I'll fix it up later. Um, but really, really, really pleased with them. Love the frames. So thank you, Karen, Tania, and the Art on the Frame team in Christchurch, New Zealand. Love them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there'll be more coming. Don't panic. <laughs> um, right. So, um, I have been working on quite a bit this last few weeks. Um, I have some whips to show you and then some new starts. So we'll go through the whips first and then, sorry, my hair's a bit messy today. Okay, so one of my whips, my favourite samplers at the moment that I'm working on, and I didn't bring my board. Well organised today, aren't we? Let's see how we go. Was the Rose Wreath sampler. So last time I showed, I've done a bit along the sides, I've had finished off the reef in the middle. Um, finished off the side bits down here and was starting on the, on the big flower motif at the bottom. Just this one here. So we're not quite finished. I still have, oops, hold on, let's get them all nicely folded up so we can see. This is where I'm working at the moment. Um, and we've got kind of a bit of each of the swans done um, and a little bit more greenery I think to come up here and then that will be this whole motif finished. I love, you can see him, the little wee owl at the top there on the branch. He's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is one that I'm constantly working on. So this sampler is coming under, um, for those that watched me last floss tube, for August and September, I am doing stash sampler starts. So I have eight starts lined up. They're all samplers. And I'm also doing um, stash sampler stitching, which means I'm still working on my whips as well. Um, and this one comes under stash sampler stitching. Goal is I really want this one finished. Sooner rather than later. But oh my gosh. That's the whole thing there. So she is being stitched on. Just bear with me for a few moments. Um, 40 count antique. So that's a Zweigart fabric. And it's like mottled on one side. It's kind of a bit hard to show. Um, and plain on the other side. And I think it's called different names in different countries. But it is just a, a, a Zweigart fabric so it's not over dyed or anything like that not hand dyed sorry um so yeah stitching on that using a mixture of the cold full threads so we've got gentle arts shaker threads weeks dye works classic color works and for those that i couldn't get dmc um so a mix of all of them which works really well because some of them you don't use a lot and you don't see that mottling. I look, getting a little bit tattered, but oh, beautiful. Absolutely loving stitching on this, so I can't wait to get back to it actually today. I've been dying to stitch some more of it. But I didn't want to lose track of where I was at. I'm just going to throw those over there. Okay, so the first, mostly the first Monday of the month. I have a Zoom meeting, stitching get together with a group of friends from New Zealand and Australia. And we're all stitching the Uffendale sisters. And as you can see, Anna's up here behind me. All finished and done. So at the moment, I'm working on Isabella Uffendale. She's gorgeous. Absolutely love her. Can't wait to have her finished. But this one's going to be a very slow process. I am only stitching her on the one day a month um so when we have our our zoom meet up so this time along i have gone just for a catch up it's going to be a wee bit see-through sorry 
I have gone along and done one outline of the border all the way down just to make sure I had enough fabric because she's a big girl and that my border matched up and she does she has been stitched on 36 count that I've just lightly dyed um, she's actually done the same as what Anne was so it's kind of very just like it started out um, cream so it's only light, it's very slightly tinted which is awesome that's what I wanted um, I'll just get it lined up just a little bit but so this time round got quite a bit done um, so I've done the second layer the top layer of the first run of stitches and then I've done the under layer because it's too wide and then we've come in and worked on these beautiful flower motifs at the top just the colors in them amazing is it beautiful so that's the center and that's the center at the top of the pattern which is this piece here so I've come work out my way this way across I started in the middle and, and went around and did the borders and then I've come across this way and then put my center motif in because then I know exactly where the top of the pattern is if I end up turning twisting because it does happen um, I know which way I'm going but she goes away she'll only come out on the first Monday of September or the second whichever one we're doing it on I'm not sure which one this time there's a few away that we can't all get together this time but I will still make sure I stitch on one of those two days um, but yeah loving how the colors are coming out so I am a stitching Isabella with DMC threads and these are her gorgeous colors beautiful greens oranges reds goldy colors nice earthy browns a blue didn't expect that in there um, but yes beautiful cannot wait it's probably a bit better of some of the colors cannot wait to get further afield with her but like I said once a month so she gets love but just not not big progress which is not like me but that's okay um, so she is actually stored in project bag it was made by Judith Thank you, Judy. You know I love my Black Rebel Flames fabric. Okay, so another one of my whips. I'm still working on. Um, actually, let's do it. No, let's do it this way. Just thinking to myself, sorry. Right, so I'm still working on my Christmas whips as well. Pull that out. Move the needle so it's a wee bit out of the road. Um, this one here, um, for those that have seen my videos, maybe near the beginning, um, or follow me on Instagram, uh, which is under Stitching Lifestyle, I will post it in the notes below. Um, I have a Santa tree, a Prairie Schooler Santa tree, I have many Christmas trees, but Prairie, Prairie Schooler Santas is one that I do. So, I've done all of them apart from the one for this year which I've got in my bag to start and um, when I was packing up last year I couldn't find this one which is the one from 1985 I don't know what I did with it or where it is I know I've stitched it before but I've moved house since this, you know the Christmas before and whether it's been caught up in something we still stuff to unpack a year later um, or whether it's just completely disappeared who knows i have cats they like to run away with especially christmas ornaments i'm still finding them everywhere um right so this is where we are so they are stitched on 18 count ada so i do still love my ada especially for ornaments um and this one i just i really i dyed myself but i did it kind of all grungy it's got lots of different colors and shades in it um to give it a real grungy effect it doesn't quite show up on here but they're beautiful so yes so i've done done the sack done part of his bed done the outline of his jacket and all the little bits in the middle so he's still got his boots what am i gonna do his boots the rest of his bed his face and his hat this doesn't take long but i want to leave this for um like car stitching 
um, stitch your meat up, that kind of thing, because this is easy to see when you don't have good lighting. Whereas some of my fine accounts, I do need to use my magnifier in my light. Um, just because it makes it a lot quicker stitching me. Alright, so one Christmas ornament being worked on. Okay, so then, sorry, it isn't perfect. The next one that I pulled out to work on was these. Are they? Oh, Christmas Three from Hands On Designs. Now I got this from the Jingle Bell, um, which is done in December uh, last year. Lindy Stitches and she hosts it with a whole heap of other um, designers. Absolutely worth the money. Awesome event to go show. Definitely going again this year. I've actually booked that weekend off work so can't wait. Because um, for us it's it's mostly during the middle of the night so <laughs> it's a bit hard. Like we can go and pop in during the day but um, to catch up with any of our American friends it's overnight for us. Um, but yeah, love it. So three more ornaments. So I had before, I had done piece. Now this is done on 32 count Zweigart um, charcoal. But I love it. So this piece, he was already done. So the other night, I didn't feel like doing my saplers. Surprise, surprise. Um, and I, so I pulled out this. So I had mostly finished Noel. I just needed to do the um, red, I guess you would call them, collar around the deers um, and finish off the green at the top of here and the green at the bottom here um, for Noel. So she didn't take long, all done. And then I thought, well, I've still got another couple of hours before I go to bed, so why not? So I started on Joy. She has a start and a finish. So that is all three ornaments now stitched, ready to be finished. I need to have another week off work sometimes. I don't. I need to have a weekend or two of finishing. So yay. Done. Okay, so then, sorry for the crinkle. Um, I pulled out, did some of my sampler stitching, um, and then I pulled it out on Friday night. I just really couldn't concentrate. It was a very long week and couldn't, couldn't think of what I wanted to stitch. So I pulled out my sampler stockings from gosh, Blackbird Designs, Home for the Holidays. Gorgeous, love these. So I managed to work on the first one, which is the, what do they call it, poinsettia. So A to F in the alphabet. And here she is, all finished. Gorgeous. Uh, 40 count. Let me think for a second. Uh, 40 pound bramble from Picture This Plus. Love it. Absolutely love it. Gorgeous. So she's now finished. So then I started on a very small start on number two. Um, so what are we going to be? G2L. And it is My Heart is Home. So I am using the DMC threads, and seriously, a tiny, tiny start. Um, maybe about 25 stitches. And that's it. But hey, start's a start. So that was stocking number one finished, and stocking number two started. It's great. Back in the plastic bag. That one has a really good project bag. Okay. So... After that, I went back to working on a couple more samplers. It's another one of my whips that I worked on. And I only have a black and white picture for this. 
is Andale. Big, was she? 1827. Big and beautiful. It's by Shakespeare's Peddler. I think Kindred Stitcher has um, finished this one. Um, but I first, I guess, really fell in love with it when I seen it on Reese's um, videos. And yes, I miss Reese's videos too. I wish she would come back and make some more. I'm sure she's stitched many samplers since then, since her latest one. Now she is big. Now this is being stitched on 36 count that I dyed myself. Um, she's a big girl, gonna roll her up. So down the bottom here is where I had mostly concentrated before. Well, not quite completely finished. So got a, few, a little bit of motifs and stuff to go here. So I was getting a bit restless with that. And I thought, oh, I really want to stitch. I actually wanted to stitch the colour red. So, not the very top row. But the next one down, I started. And I've done the trees on each side. The um, vase with the flowers in the middle. This gap here is with... Um, the wording is so like the poem part and then I stitched the mode dividing band on the bottom and I've been just every now and then picking up a thread and working on the grass border for the top row. Loving stitching on this one too. Goal finish by end of year. Um, so being stitched with the DMC threads. And I tell you what, these colours are absolutely gorgeous. There is a really light ones in here that I did worry about that um, not standing out too much on the fabric. Like here, but when you see it in person and you see it up close, they do actually work. Um, even like the strawberries on the side. But that faded effect I think works really well. So I'm not changing them, I'm not going to make them brighter. I want them to be like that so it's kind of got the combo of the colors but yes loving working on and and she doesn't have a project bag as such she actually has a beautiful box um then i picked up at one of the markets somewhere somewhere locally um that was hand painted i love it um, but great i can just pick that up and take it away with me Okay, so that was my whips that I worked on. Um, then, like I said earlier, I am doing the sampler. Sorry, start that again. Stash sampler starts for August and September, where I am starting eight samplers. So I started 1st of August. And my first one up was Hannah Campbell, 1838, from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Seeing this everywhere over social media on um, Instagram, there's a big stitch along group for it. Love it. Absolutely love it. My gosh, I did not want to put her down. Now, I got mine as the kit from Traditional Stitches. Um, and I chose the 103 silks. Um, and my fabric is 46 count vintage San June Lakeside linens. Um, love it. This is the colour of the of the linen. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But when you see it with the cottons on it. And I can say that because I love it. So here was my my start, my first week of stitching. Oh, I'm just going to blow it out. There's probably really the true colours. Gorgeous. So pretty much I've done, I guess you would say, the first half. Down to here, down to the dividing. No, this one here, the sort of way... Nope, down further. Not the wavy one. Oh my gosh. Stop talking. This one here. Um, so I've gone up. I started in the middle. You know, each side. And then came down. Once you get the rhythm of that border. Um, 
with the green and the red. I found I didn't need to use two needles. I did at the start and I thought, this is ridiculous. It's slowing me down. So I worked out the rhythm and the counting of it, um, which made it a lot easier to get around that border. But love how it is coming out. Those colours are amazing. These cute little wee flowers in the middle here. Blue, which is kind of hard to see, but it is gorgeous. And I couldn't wait to get into the katouche in the middle. Um, yeah, just in awe. If I could have carried on stitching, I think I probably would have. But I knew I had other things to start and get on with. It's very addictive, that's where I can see why people are getting through this quite quickly. But she's gorgeous. So she now goes into the whip pile. So that was start number one. Um, so she got about three, four evenings, maybe five, I think four. Um, that is. And that is she's just in a project bag that I made myself a while ago. Beautiful pink flowers and the old antique fabric. Um, so then it was on to my second start. And my second start for my out of my eight starts was the Dutch Sampler by Herman Copenhagen. I've loved the Sampler for a very long time. Put it off buying it, finally bought it um, before we actually went into lockdown the world closed down for COVID um and then I've just kind of you know put it off put it off because something shiny and new always comes out so I thought this is what actually instigated my um wanting to start all these things so I'm stitching it on 46 count up in the attic bit of extra cat food there um up in the attic by Fox and Rabbit I do like stitching on fox and rabbit fabrics. Um, really nice, sometimes hard to get, but um, yeah, very lovely to stitch on. Thank you, Karen and Brendan. Awesome fabrics. Um, so I'm stitching with the called for DMC threads. It's only 13 colors in the sampler, which is absolutely amazing. Lots of different shades of green. And when you see them, like just hanging here, they kind of, you think, gosh, they're not going to, you know, how did they get all that out of that, in that sampler? But when you start seeing them put together and the different greens side by side, when you look at them on the fabric, they look different. Um, and I think that's how they're doing that effect of how they come out. But beautiful colours. So I had um, four, five, five day, four days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. Do I put it on Saturday? Oh, I finished off one of the deers on Saturday morning. Um, but I've, I've stitched and started. So this is up in the top corner of the sampler. And I've actually finished page one and part of page two and part of page three. The arch goes over both those pages. Much. Sorry, it's a huge bed sheet of fabric. Even on mine's on 46 count. And she's still gonna be a very big girl. But absolutely gorgeous. The, uh, the little birds on the top of the tree. Like so cute. The deers. Her dresses. And then in this one here is the art. Gorgeous. So where I've stitched across to here is where it starts the centre, um, what do you call it? It's the centre grouping of flowers and stuff. So this is where I've done. And from the arch, so next time I pick it up, I'll probably work on the lady and some more border. And I'd like to come down just to be able to cut my, this is a whole yard. And I'd like to be able to cut when I get to the bottom because it's quite hard, quite not hard, it's just a big bed sheet to wrangle, if you like, to stitch. But this is where we're at with the bottom of that line of sort of green stitching. Um, and then into the centre pieces and that. So about a third of the way, I've made it a third of the way across, but just need to fill in the big bit in the middle there. 
But she's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'll hold her up again. I do quite like her. She's gorgeous. The colours do look a little bit faded, but in person they aren't. Um, and I think once it gets to fully fit and out of the, you know, direct sunlight and stuff, she'll be absolutely gorgeous. But yes, definitely worth making a um, working copy for. The book is, is quite flimsy. And um, yeah, it's not not the best quality, I guess, of book. But um, yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely love that. Um, and that's in Project Envelope, made many years ago, using Vonna's um, The Twist of Stitches tutorial. But love it. Just some fun, fun fabric. Okay, so... That wasn't the end of my starts. My next lot of starts, because you know, I'm searching these big samplers and I need to start some smaller stuff. So I did, because when you get starter-itis, you get starter-itis. I think you all know what I mean. Um, so I started Keeper of the Pins from Brenda Gervais. Had this pattern for a while and have been wanting to start it. So I started with the first one in the book. Because that's what you do. Oh, actually, sorry. Second one in the book. Uh, the first one in the book is The Little Bird. But second one. So this one is on 36 count. Just a scrap of fabric. And we have the word thread. Um, so this will actually go into my car stitching. I say car stitching, but that includes, you know, lunchtime stitching. I mean, it was out of the home. Some needles sitting there. Um, and I'm actually just using the DMC. I do still have some DMC on the thread spools, um, but just slowly using them up as we go. Okay, so my last start, which I, oh my gosh, I think I'd put about five, five threads into them. Um, one night this week, and then I was sitting down and watching Lizzie the Stitcher, um, New another New Zealand Stitcher, and I was watching her um, floss latest or floss room number five from about a week ago, um, and she's talking about her blue blue work gears, and I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't even I've started, but I hadn't picked them back up again, so I picked them up. I love them. So oh, I should have brought my other one over. So the red ones I did, I did on 36 count. And the blue ones I'm doing on 40 count. So I've finished the plain alphabet one. It's gorgeous. Um, stitching using Deep Sea Weeks Dye Works. It's slightly mottled. Um, blue but gorgeous shade um, and then the second one almost done it's just got uh, three if you like tulips they look like tulips to go along the bottom and then we'll be able to get into number three which is this one here so I will finish stitching all three before I um, put them together I still need to put the other two red ones together but this will get me motivated to get them. I have um, have ordered from Karen, and she's getting it in for me, the, um, the newest set of three pairs. There's something just relaxing about stitching them. They're lovely to do. Okay, so that's all my actual stitching that I've done. Um, but I am going to show you the next, th remind you, I guess, of the next three samplers that I'll be stitching, because I don't think it'll be three weeks before I'm back. Maybe two, but... Hey, if it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. So, today is Monday the, what was it, the 14th of August. So, tomorrow is Tuesday the 15th, which means new start day. So, my next one up is I Had a Father Kind and True from Cross Stitch Antiques. I absolutely love this. Love it. Um, let me just pull everything out, sorry. Now, I had chosen to stitch this on 46 count hog bristle. 
And I have done a little wee start beforehand with the DMC. Nice. Love it. But you know what? She was such a big girl and so beautiful that I decided, no, I want to do it in the hundred threes. So I ordered them, stop stitching on her, and I will just turn them upside down and start at the other end. I really want to unpick if I can help it. And if I need to unpick when I get to that corner, then I'll unpick at that corner. Um, and we'll restart that. So yes, this is tomorrow's start. She was beautiful. Can't wait. Um, so she's up next. I have, um, I have a small table next to me and it also has the cat climbing tree. Um, which is great because it has, you know, three or four different levels so I can kind of put some things separately on it. As long as the cats don't come in and want their tree while I'm filming. Um, so that's my next start. The Tuesday after that, sorry, bobbing down to the floor. Um, which will be the 22nd of August is another sampler that I'm starting. Now this is the only non-reproduction sampler that I'm doing. Um, and it's Teresa Kogat's Let Love Rain. I just love this. I think it's gorgeous. I love this. Can't wait to stitch that. But just the fact that it has the splashes of blue in it. Um, and Teresa's Kogat's designs are just gorgeous. So I'm searching her on 46 count Russian caramel from number 12, Stitch Co. Oh, sorry, that does not want to focus. I'll put the details um, down below. She's on Etsy. I love her. So Russian Caramel is the same as the one that I stitched on uh, Memories of the Past. I'm using called for DMC Threads. Gorgeous. All nice neutral colours and then of course that splash of blue. Um, and I still have to add black into it but I haven't added black into it at the moment. But that's no worries. Just gorgeous. So that will be the next start. And the last start for the month will be um, on Tuesday the 29th of August. And this is one I've been waiting to start. I could have flipped them around but I didn't want to do... I didn't, I've made my mind up on what order they were being so I didn't want to change it. So this, Elizabeth Furness, 1836. Been waiting so long to start her. Because, you know, you have so many whips and you think, mm, I don't, she can't start anymore, can't start anymore. I've got to that stage where it's like, you know what? I'm back to not worrying about it. I never used to, and I'd ha I had over 100 whips. So, to get them down is, is just amazing. So, she is going to be stitched on a 40 count linen that I dyed myself using uh, brown and tan red dyes. This is how she's come out. She's like a real mottled caramelly colour but dark caramel compared to um, the other one. But I love it. Needs a wee really bit of an iron. We'll get that sorted. Um, and I'm using the DMC threads. I love stitching with the silks but it's nice to have a change instead of everything all being the same. So having a mix of silks and over dyed cottons and just the cottons. It keeps it interesting. Love the colours. Absolutely cannot wait to get started on this. There's a lot of people um, stitching on it. I know Carol Saltbox Stitcher has this in her 15 new start. <laughs> I had to laugh, Carol. Thank you. Um, you should have seen me when I first decided I was going to do this. I had about 30 spread out on my lounge floor. I managed to narrow it down to let's be sensible and only start eight. Because I can put the other, you know, Christmas is coming, New Year's coming, my birthday's coming, all those things I could start. Or well, we can do it again next year. We'll start another eight. Um, but yes, 
love it can't wait to do the sheep even the over one sheep and that big house the beautiful roses up here just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um so yes there's a lot of floss tubers um doing it have started it um i'm just trying to think no out of my head sorry um crosshatch quilt is one um I know Nicole from Nicole's Needleworks is doing it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, they're the only two I can remember at the moment. Um, but I know as soon as the others all rattle off the names, I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> but that's okay. Right, so they are my three next starts. Um, what else have I got? Okay, so the only other thing I've got is a couple of purchases. So while I was picking up my framing, I had ordered from Karen, um, she'd had a couple of sales on, so of course they always have them when I'm at work, which is pretty good, she holds them for me, but she has got some fibre on a whim fabric in, oh my gosh, so I ordered just a couple of pieces, uh, both in, let me just double check, 40 caps, so this one is Geek Shell, it's gorgeous, Brownie greens through it. Love it. Um, and then the other one, which is caramel machito. Um, but you can see a difference. It's kind of hard, but you can see you can see a difference between them. And when you see them in person, there it looks huge difference. So two more sampler fabrics. Yay! Thank you, Karen, and thank you for getting. Fibre on a wind fabrics and they are gorgeous to stitch on. Thank you. Sorry, cool. Okay, so then she had um, a Friday sale. There yes, she does. And of course, she put hands across the sea samplers up. I can't say no. And I was only going to buy two, but I bought three. So, Mary Carter. I'm sure I have this somewhere, but I can't find it. I thought maybe I'd bought it as a PDF. Who knows? If I find it, when I find it, I will um give the extra copy away. So Mary Carter, 1712. She was Queen of the May for 2020. And my friend Sue is stitching this and it is gorgeous. Um, but yes, I need to get started on it. Love all specialty stitches and I can't wait. So while I was looking at that, on Karen's post online, I thought, oh, I really need to get some more band sampler styles. So I bought Jane Bourne. Love the colours in this. All the specialty stitches it does tell us on the back. Oh, I need to put my glasses on to read it. Um, and let's have a look. What have we got? Uh, cross stitch. Over two and three... Threads, satin stitch, Algerian eyelets, Montenegro, Montenegrin stitch, over two and three threads. That will be fun. Um, stem stitch, back stitch, double running stitch, and is it Fagot? Forgot stitch? Haven't heard of that one. That'll be fun too. New stitch. Um, so, yes, love it. And of course, I've had this on that one. I don't think I'm going to do it as reversible. And it's the my beloved scarf. Sorry, the bricker. She's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And this one has a lot of different stitches. Um, so it's stitched over three threads with running stitch, double running stitch, back stitch, satin stitch, Montenegrin stitch. Uh, diamond upright stitch, diagonal cross stitch, and two variations of reversible cross stitch um, for intermediate to advanced needleworkers. I love it. They'll be a little while down the track, um, but who knows? Might add them to next season. So that's it. We've now caught up. That is the first couple of weeks of stash sampler starts 
um, I will keep stitching. Can't wait to start my new one tomorrow. Um, but I really want to get back to working on the rosary sampler today. So looking forward to it. So remember guys, one stitch at a time gets these samplers done, gets all of your stitching done, whether it's big or small. So please, one stitch at a time. Happy stitching. Thank you.